to the Man United fan stand. Um, it was Manchester United 1, Leicester City 0. And a really, really intense game for Manchester United. We are back in the studio for a celebration. Our second win of the season out at bloody five games. But, you know, look, look, we just have to take the positives. I really have to be honest. Um, first half, yes, look, 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 we were literally all over them. Chances, yes, um, look, look, they were just well created. And uh, and at the end of the day, um, it, uh, look, there were some... Um, uh, look, 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 at the start, look, look, it was by a penalty, and that's the only thing that can really settle it. It's going to be really frustrating for Leicester, but at the end of the day, I do think with the chances we had, we did deserve the goal. Um, I literally, I, I did think it would be 1-0. Uh, I think I said that in my preview. I said 1-0 to Manchester United, um, and I and I, and I really do think, look, 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 that was a really close game, uh, to be honest with you, to split the two sides. I knew look, 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 there was either going to be lots of goals, um, and I knew there was just going to be one goal to split. I said 1-0 or 3-2, because look, look, there's either going to be one goal, or there's... Or, or there's just going to be lots of goals in this. Because I only think there'll be a one goal margin in this. But the reality is, Brendan Rodgers, as the Leicester City manager, has not have, um, ha he, he hasn't had uh, the greatest um, of records at Old Trafford. And against Manchester United, which is all good. But look, uh, th look the thing is today is that it, it was frustrating at times. It was really nerve-wracking at times. To watch Manchester United, and you know, I think all we can do is just take the positives out of it. It's our second clean sheet of the season so far. Oh, sorry about that. But look, at the end of the day, um, yeah, it, it's it's all going to be interesting uh, to see what's going to be happening um, in this game. Uh, to be honest with you, but you know, at the end of the, at the end of the day, I'm happy to hear um, uh, that we did get the win, and uh, and and this win was really important. Uh, but, but two clean sheets, I'm not I'm actually, uh, I'm not that happy to hear that though, because at the end of the day, look, we're Manchester United, we want to be playing well, it's not like, um, it's, it's not, look, we didn't play badly in this game, uh, look, look, you have to be completely honest, look, uh, look, no matter what, because we didn't play badly, um, look, we were unlucky at times, I've got to say that with, su uh, with some of the chances uh, uh, that we could have easily scored, but... Yes, um, so far, yeah, it, it's all going to be interesting to see. Look, look, where can we go from this victory? Look, look, will it take us somewhere? Hopefully it does. I mean, we need to be, um, I mean, we just need to be thinking positive uh, going out of this game. Because, look, look, we're Manchester United fans and we want to take the positives. We don't want to look at the negatives. Because at the end of the day, this was a win and we need to go on and we need to keep on playing uh, right now. So, look, look, we can't just go on, we can't look at the negatives. De Gea had quite a bit to do this game, but I think, um, there's improvements uh, uh, coming, and a, a clean sheet, that's something. Marcus Rashford scores a penalty. Hopefully, that can boost his confidence. But chances and chances. Daniel James have been playing well down the wing and stuff. I really do think he plays well. Uh, uh, Tahif Chong, he got a bit of a run around. Um, you, you didn't really see overly much, but he, look, 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 when he got the ball, he, he, he was good with his pass and stuff. He did... One or two decent free balls, I think. Uh, so, yeah, look, Tahif Chong's not a bad player. Not sure if he's, uh, I don't know, 100% ready uh, for Manchester United. But, you know, at the, end, at, at the end of the day, look, we got the win. It takes us above Leicester. But we're in fourth place uh, now. Well, only above Leicester, Chelsea on goal difference. But... After all, there's other games that have to be played. We just need to hope and pray that's, uh, that that they go our way. But look, currently right now, we're in the top four. Got to be proud of that. Now we need to move on um, in, on to our next game, which is in the Europa League on Thursday. So that, that's, gonna, that's all going to be a really interesting one on Thursday night. So yeah, all we need to go... Uh, all, all we need to do now, sorry, is, is we need to go and... Um, and we need to win this game. This is a ma it's a massive, massive game to win for Manchester United. But luckily, we're now talking about wins because we don't want to be sassy ranting talking about losers. 
Um, because I don't want to talk about the negatives because it's a win and we had to be happy because it's the second win of the season. Um, and, and, and yeah, there's literally no one coming over and mocking us. Yes, it wasn't the best of performances. We could have been more clinical and go. I think that's something that we should 100% bloody work on. But a win is what it is. We won and I'm, 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 I'm we're taking that. I don't care how we win. I don't care if we've won it by a penalty. Although... Uh, I, I, I kind of do, I kind of want it uh, to win it in a different way, but we've won the game, and that's the most important thing right now, and ho hopefully it does build the team's confidence. Some decent defending, but David De Gea was a really key man to us uh, in that game, and, you know, as we won the best outfield, not clinical enough, I would give David De Gea the man of the match, because he made some world-class saves, he made uh, uh, one early save uh, uh, in the first half, yeah, uh, he, he made two really. Uh, he tipped one over the bar in the first half. He and he he, he was he, he was really alert to some of the shots um, in the second half. But you know, half, half of them he didn't stand the chance for. But look, he 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 was ready and he 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 had a lots of energy in him and he pushed. He tried. He tried really hard. Uh, uh, something I really like to see um, from David de Gea. Uh, so we can try and come back from uh, from the kind of mistakes that he has. Uh, uh, made right now though but you know a win for Manchester United we're all happy as, as Manchester United fans that we went on and we got the win um, it's time to celebrate because finally look, 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 we, look we managed to get something we're currently on 8, point, eight points right now um, is it good enough I don't know but, but, but look, look we have to take it I mean look as Manchester United fans um, no, no, we want to be entertained. I wouldn't say we were, yeah, really entertained today. I, I, I wouldn't say that, uh, to be honest. But at the end of the day, I think it was uh, an, an even game, kind of. I think we kind of just edged it. No, we kind of edged the victory. Also, I, I, I think it was a bit more of our game. So I would say probably, um, I don't know, 52% uh, of that game was ours. And the rest of it is Leicester's. I think that makes... 52 48% so yeah I, I, so yeah I literally just think that we edged that game uh, kind of but overall I think we were the better side so yeah and, 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 and there's positives to take so yeah Rafa gets a penalty goal yes we finally get a bloody penalty and um, uh, that we've scored so yeah that's all good as well so yeah I, I, I'm all happy with that win but yeah look there have to be improvements I think we all know that but we won! Get in the Manchester United! Anyway, thanks for watching this video of the Man United fan stand. Speak to you all soon. Anyway, thanks for watching.